hamjambo mimi ni Abdul Karim karibuni katika darasa la Kiswahili la leo katika darasa hili tutajifunza nini tutajifunza hospitalini mazungumzo ya hospitalini uh, hospital conversation yani uh, we have maybe you are sick you are talking to a doctor or you are a doctor uh, you are talking to a patient or just your friend is sick you are talking with a friend about health you know so in this lesson that's what we'll talk about hospitalini at the hospital first we will talk about this we will learn this basic vocabulary the basic vocabulary at the hospital and also the phrases that you can use uh to describe maybe something okay so that when uh, you are talking to a doctor you are able to tell the doctor i have this problem maybe i have headache or something okay so without wasting time let's get it but before we get started just remember if you haven't subscribed click the subscribe button let's get started msamiati this is a vocabulary okay hospitali 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 hospital okay first we are talking about we're learning this vocabulary and then some phrases that you can use to that they can help you communicate well and we'll also learn sample dialogues two sample dialogues one a patient with the doctor then two a patient with the dentist okay okay let's continue here hospitali hospital zahanati dispensary zahanati duka la dawa duka la dawa pharmacy pharmacy daktari doctor daktari nesi nas we can say nesi you can also say muguzi 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 so the word is Muguzi is also used to refer to the nurse. Mgonjwa, mgonjwa is a sick person. Mgonjwa. Ugonjwa, ugonjwa disease, ugonjwa disease, disease. Matibabu, matibabu treatment, treatment, matibabu. Chanjo chanjo vaccine we have chanjo ya corona chanjo ya corona this vo- corona vaccine sawa chanjo we continue here uh, we continue here we have gari la wagonjwa gari la wagonjwa gari la wagonjwa or you can also say ambulance ambulance this is a ambulance maumivu maumivu or uchungu maumivu or you can also say uchungu this is pain so if you want to say i am feeling pain you can say ninahisi maumivu or ninahisi uchungu dawa dawa medicine dawa dawa za kienyeji dawa za kienyeji these are traditional medicine dawa za kienyeji you can see some masai people and other traditional people uh, moving around with this such medicine in bottles um, just uh, anywhere in maybe Kenya Tanzania you can see these people they're moving around with such medicines or they have specific location if you are sick you just go there dawa za kienyeji maandishi ya dawa maandishi ya dawa maandishi ya dawa is a medical uh, medicine prescription prescription so we have the verb kuandika is to write and maandishi is writings writings but in this case it means a prescription uh, we say daktari atakuandikia dawa daktari atakuandikia dawa 
uh, this means the doctor will prescribe medicine for you. But if I say nita kuandikia barua, it means I will write a letter for you. But in this case, at the hospital we say daktari atakuandikia ba um, daktari atakuandikia dawa. Now it this implies the doctor will prescribe medicine. So kuandikia uh, in this case will imply to prescribe. Mandishi therefore will be prescription. Afia, afia is health. Afia, afia. Reporti ya afia. Reporti ya afia is a health health report or this medical report. Medical report. Reporti ya afia. Bima ya afia. Bima ya afia is a health insurance. Health insurance. We say bima ya afia. Now we will learn about the phrases that you can use or you can hear people talking about these phrases and they will help you improve your Swahili language. We have the phrase J kuna hospitali karibu hapa J kuna hospitali karibu hapa Is there a hospital near here? Ita ambulansi Ita ambulansi Call the ambulance Unahitaji kuona daktari Unahitaji kuona daktari You need to see a doctor Daktari huona wagonjwa sangapi Daktari huona wagonjwa sangapi When what time? When does the doctor see the patients? Nina miadi na daktari. Nina miadi na daktari. I have appointment. Okay, here is Nina miadi na daktari. I have appointment with the doctor. Here I wrote Nina miadi na daktari wameno. A daktari wameno is a dentist. So Nina miadi na daktari wameno. I have appointment with a dentist. Okay. Now next we will learn how you can tell the doctor how you are feeling. What is your problem? How you explain that to a doctor? If you're having stomachache, if you're having headache, if you're having maybe your 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 ear is hurting you, then how do you say that in Swahili? Sawa. Una tatizo gani? If you're a doctor, you can ask the patient Una tatizo gani? Uh, you can say Una tatizo gani? Or Una shida gani? Or Nini inakuuma? Nini inakuuma? Nini inakuuma uh, simply means What is hurting you? Or what is paining you? Nini inakuuma? Una tatizo gani? Which problem do you have? Una tatizo gani? Now the patient can reply Kichwa changu kina uma Kichwa changu kina uma The verb uma is a uh, Is a word It has several meanings The first meaning of uma is a fork You know like this, the one we use for eating Fork is uma and Then we also have um, Uma which means to bite Like Ha, like a dog can bite your hand. Uma. Then the other meaning that we're using here is uma to pain, to ache. So kina uma it means it's aching or it's causing it's uh, it's paining, you know. So kichwa changu kina uma, my head is paining. So that is simply I have a headache. So you say I have a headache. Kichwa changu kina uma. Tumbo langu. Lina uma. Tumbolangu lina uma. I have stomach ache. Tumbolangu lina uma. Shingo, shingo. Shingo langu lina uma. Shingo langu lina uma. My neck hurts. Ko langu lina uma. Ko. This we say ko. Ko langu lina uma. 
I have sore throat or my throat hurts. My throat hurts. Nina kohoa. <coughs> Nina kohoa. Yeah? I have a cough. Nina kohoa. Nina mafua. Nina mafua. I have flu. Nina mahuf. Nina mafua. Mafua. Sawa? Jino langu lina uma. Jino langu lina uma. I have a toothache. I have a toothache. Not me. Uh, it's it's example. It's it's on the board. I don't have toothache. Jino langu lina uma. Sawa? We have also here. Sikio langu lina uma. Sikio langu lina uma. My ear hurts. Sikio. If it's one, sikio. Two, masikio. Jicho langu lina uma. Jicho langu lina uma. Jicho. Jicho. Nina hisi baridi. Nina hisi baridi. I am feeling cold. Nina hisi joto. Nina hisi joto. Uh, this implies that um, maybe I have fever. But if you're feeling uh, maybe warm, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're having maybe fever. Maybe you've been sitting on the sun. Sina hamu ya chakula. Sina hamu ya chakula. I don't have appetite for food. I don't have appetite for food. Siwezi kulala. Siwezi kulala. I can't sleep. Siwezi kulala. I can't sleep. Nina endesha. Nina endesha. I have a running stomach. I have a running stomach. So here, if the patient tells you in endesha, the verb ku endesha normally means to drive, uh, to make something to move. So this person is having a running stomach. Nina endesha. So we, we imply this one to its polite word. So we don't, I don't teach you, I, I will not teach you the other word. It's very offensive. So we just use this one, nina endesha, which imply, I have a running stomach. Now we'll go to the dialogue. Simple conversation between a doctor and a patient and also between a dentist and a patient. So, um, Daktari and Mgonjwa. You remember? Daktari is a doctor. Mgonjwa is a patient or a sick person. Now we have here Daktari. Hujambo, jinalako ni nani? Hujambo. Jinalako ni nani? Hello, what is your name? Gonjwa, si jambo, jinalangu ni petero. Si jambo, jinalangu ni petero. This implies I am fine. My name. Uh, this implies I am fine. My name is petero. Petero is a Swahili name for Peter. Daktari, una tatizo gani? Una tatizo gani? Buana Petero, which problem do you have, Mr. Petero? Mgonjwa, sijihisi vizuri. Kicho changu kina uma vibaya sana. Sijihisi vizuri. Kicho changu kina uma vibaya sana. I don't feel well. My head hurts so bad. Or I have a bad headache. Daktari, J, koo lako lina umapia? J, koo lako lina umapia? Does your throat hurt too? Mgonjwa, ndiyo, pia nina koho. <coughs> pia nina koho. Daktari, uh, here, uh, yes, I oh, I am also I also have a cough. 
daktari je unahisi joto je unahisi joto do you have fever mgonjwa ndio yes daktari kulingana na ukaguzi wewe una mafua nitakuandikia dawa ya kupunguza joto ya, ya kikohozi na dawa ya kupunguza maumivu kulingana na ukaguzi according to the examination wewe una mafua you have flu nitakuandikia dawa ya kupunguza joto i will prescribe for you medicine to reduce the temperature ya kikohozi for cough ya ku, uh, na dawa ya kupunguza maumivu and the medicine to reduce pain that's a pain killer mgonjwa je ninaweza kwenda kazini kesho je ninaweza kwenda kazini kesho can i go to work tomorrow daktari hapana hapana usiende kazini kesho unahitaji kupumzika kwa siku mbili hapana usiende kazini kesho unahitaji kupumzika kwa siku mbili hapana no usiende kazini kesho don't go to work tomorrow unahitaji kupumzika you need to rest kwa siku mbili for two days uh, mgonjwa sawa daktari okay doctor sawa daktari daktari hii hapa ripoti yako ya afya na maandishi ya dawa hii hapa ripoti yako ya afya here is your medical reports na maandishi ya dawa and the prescription nunua dawa hizi kwenye duka la dawa buy this medicine from the pharmacy gonjo asante sana ninakutakia siku njema thank you so much i wish you a nice day daktari nawe pia you too ninakutakia upone haraka ninakutakia upone haraka i wish you a, a quick recovery i wish you a quick recovery some people can also tell you ninakuombea upate afueni i can just write here ninakuombea upate afueni afueni is just to get better yani is like a recovery you know so ninakuombea i pray for you upate afueni i pray i pray for you that you get recovery we get better okay so this kupona from the opone uh, from the word kupona to recover, to recover or to become better and here afueni from the phrase kupata afueni which means to get uh, to recover or to get better inakuombea upate afueni so in case someone tells you mimi ni mgonjwa you can use either of these two okay but for me i use the long one inakuombea upone haraka na kikamilifu ninakuombea you can say ninakutakia au ninakuombea ninakuombea upone haraka haraka so i just write here haraka 
haraka na Inakuombea upone haraka na kikamilifu. This means I wish you a speedy and complete recovery. Sawa? So, now here we have exercise. Zoezi to see if you understood the lesson or not. So this answer in the comment section. I would love to see and read your answers please. So I see if you are getting it or not. So let me read the first question. Mgonjwa anaitwa nani? Mgonjwa anaitwa nani? Mimi ninaitwa Abdul Karim. Mgonjwa anaitwa nani? Nambari ya pili. Daktari alisema kuwa mgonjwa ana tatizo gani? Daktari alisema kuwa mgonjwa ana tatizo gani? Tatu, mgonjwa atanunua wapi dawa? Mgonjwa atanunua wapi dawa? Nne Mgonjwa atapumzika nyumbani kwa siku ngapi? Mgonjwa atapumzika nyumbani kwa siku ngapi? In the comment section write your answers. Now we have here at the doc, um, at the dentist, at the dentist kwa daktari wa meno. We have daktari and Zuhura. Zuhura is a girl's name. It means brightness. So this name is actually the name of planet Venus. Daktari, karibu uhali gani? Zuhura, asante, salama. So karibu uhali gani? Welcome, how are you? Zuhura, say thanks. Fine, just safe, peaceful, it's fine. Daktari, Una tatizo gani? Which problem do you have? Zuhura, jino langu linauma sana. Jino langu linauma sana. I have uh, my teeth, my tooth hurts a lot. Daktari, mm, jino lako lina tatizo. Inaonekana unakula sukari nyingi. Jino lako lina tatizo. Inaonekana unakula sukari nyingi. Your tooth has a problem. It seems you eat a lot of sugar. Zuhura, zuhura. Ndio, ninapenda sukari sana. Yes, I love sugar a lot. Daktari, je, wewe Kusugua meno yako? Do you brush your teeth? We have Zuhura. Ndiyo, mimi husugua meno yangu mara moja kwa siku. Yes, I brush my teeth once a day. That's how I Nitangoa jino lako. I will remove your tooth. Kutoka sasa usile sukari nyingi. From now, don't eat a lot of sugar. Halafu usugue meno yako angalau mara mbili kwa siku. And brush your teeth at least two times a day. Zuhura. Sawa, daktari. Okay, doctor. Daktari, nakutakia upone haraka. Nakutakia upone haraka. I wish you a quick recovery. Zuhura, asante. Sawa. Uh, this conversation when Zuhura say Jinolangu lina uma 
it reminds me of a joke. It reminds me of a joke. Uh, a child went to a doctor, to a dentist, and he said, Jinolangu linauma. Then the dentist say, um, Hiyo ni kazi yake, ulitaka litembe? This means that is its work. Did you want it to work? So it turns out that this word uma, as I explained before, it means to bite and to ek. Also, it means the fork. So the doctor interpreted this as to bite. So the work of the teeth is to bite. So when he said, you know, it's the work of the teeth. But the patient implied was actually meaning that I have toothache. Now we have uh, this uh, last exercise here. Zoezi ba. Zoezi ba. But I tell you, I mean, no. So just also this exercise answer in the comment. Write your answer in the comment section. I would love to see your answers. Moja. Zuhura anatatizogani. Zuhura Ana tatizo gani? Bili, zuhura husugua meno yake marangapi kwa siku. Zuhura husugua meno yake meno marangapi kwa siku. Tatu, J, daktari alingoa jino la zuhura. J. Daktari alingoa jino la zuhura. Sawa? Kwa heri, kuwa na siku njema.